Good morning, guys. Westport, getting ice. Gonna head out for Albuquerque today. Nice and foggy summer day in Westport. I'll come back to you when we got more light. <laughs> Here we go. Ocean conditions are looking prime. One foot swell, which is just crazy. Hey, there you go. All right, so we're crossing the Westport Bar. For those unfamiliar with the concept of a bar, it's where a river flows into the ocean and creates uh, potentially dangerous waters if it's shallow, the seas can build. I don't expect anything today, but we got a lot of fog and a lot of boats. So we're relying on radar so that we don't run into people in front of us. But we got everybody plugged up here. There he is. <laughs> you tricked that one in. We're doing a little bit of Ocean Co here. We've already got, how many we got in the box already? Four? Three. Oh, there's another fish on. Another one. All right, so I got one on here. He's netting one right there. We got a triple going. Oh, nice hatch. That's a big wow. hatchery. <laughs> nice. All right. We just finished up a limit of eight coho oh, and oh, oh, that's a good uh, still a bonus going. <laughs> that one's got some shoulders. Now we're gonna go on first. On we are on the edge of where we're gonna be hunting for tuna today. So we're looking for jumpers, 60 degree water temps and blue water. So, we're trolling at around, how many miles per hour do we usually troll? Seven miles per hour. We've got clones, x wraps, cedar plugs, and then we're going to drop dead bait and jigs on these fish, if we can get on top of them. It was 118 degrees. Oh! Let it go. Okay. Everybody get the rod. Get a jig rod, Tim. Get a jig rod, Tim. We want to get jig rods in. First thing, continue the troll. See if we can hook up more than just one. Nice gun. Nice. Okay. Got it. Cool. Right on. Hey, drop the ice. See the gulls coming in on the bait fish here. That the you see the you can see the bait being driven to the surface by the tuna. They're underneath it. There's a tuna hitting the top. Right there. So I think those are sorry, right? The bait? Yeah. They look small. Yeah! <laughs> No, it should be hooked up by now. I thought for sure we would have tripled. Continuing to keep that going. You want to get it, you want me to? Uh, Steve, how's ya? Oh, nice. Little peanut. Yeah. Peanut. Nice. Yeah. Cool. You got hit that right? Alright, get in there. Aww. Yeah, oh. I got a wall. That's, oh, not very, to get that's not very nice to shove his face in there. <laughs> we could put a lot of these things in here. <laughs> Fifty 
got all these birds are in here. Just Straight ahead. Oh, there you go. There, there you go. go. I'm, I'm in shotgun. Oh, We're on. Two, we got two. two. Yeah! Woo! Wait till he's on the surface. There you go. Alright, there you go. Good job. Alright. So that is a Sabine's goal right there. I'll show you a picture. That is one of the best tuna birds. They uh, have a, a small goal that feeds on bait fish that the tuna drive to the surface. So we're looking for those birds all the time to indicate where the tuna are pushing the bait balls up to the surface. He's like, what's all the commotion? Just looking for blink. Go on. I'm out of here. All right, we should go off now. And fish on! Like I just said, we should go off. Crab. Yeah. Mr. Coho look pretty big. Yes. We've got a bunch of 32 pound coho. We'll lay that 20 pound uh, albacore next to it. <laughs> a long long day guys we ended up with 12 uh, albacore and eight coho so we're gonna get offloaded here and i've been doing fishing for 10 days straight so i'm looking forward to actually taking a break i'll see you guys next time out on the water just remember fish smarter not harder bye guys